how fast is the bike blender making this blade spin when I pedal a smoothie? That's a good feeling. Really good. Here you go, hon. Without using a scientific instrument that can actually just tell us the answer, we're going to have to use our powers of estimating. Estimating is like a really cool combination of common sense and math. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, first of all, we have to know how to talk about the speed of something that spins. Maybe someone will answer a uh, hundred miles an hour, you know, which to them is a really fast speed. Are we really actually going anywhere? I mean, I get on, I pedal just like on a bicycle and I'm still right here talking to you. I haven't moved. Well, when we talk about the speed of a bicycle going down the street, we use miles per hour. When we talk about the speed of a spinning object, it's the number of spins that it does in one minute. Instead of calling it spins per minute, we usually call them revolutions per minute or rotations per minute, both having R, so that's convenient. The unit is you know, rotations per minute or RPM. So when something's going 60 RPM, it's going 60 spins in one minute. Now, if you were one of those people that answered really fast, you're onto something because it's actually going so fast that you can't even see it anymore. When I look at the blender blade, it just becomes almost invisible. What can we count? Can we count the number of times that my right leg goes around? Maybe in a 10 second period? Let's start right now. How many did you count? I counted 17. Cool, so 17 pedal strokes in a 10 second period. Now 17 is kind of a hard number to do mental math with. So let's just pick something easier and that's something that you can do when you're estimating. Let's just turn the 17 number into something that's more simple like 20. It's not going to hurt anyone if we round it up to 20. And plus when I was really cranking, you know, I was going faster. So the speed always changes anyway. You know, you just got to pick something. So let's pick 20. Now the next thing we have to realize is that we were counting within a 10 second period, but the unit that we care about is rotations per minute. How many times does 10 seconds go into a minute? Six times. So if I had uh, 20 pedal strokes in 10 seconds, how many pedal strokes would that be in a minute? It's 20 times six. Great. So now we're up to 120 pedal strokes per minute, and that's a number that we can count with our eyes. And we have begun this estimating problem. But now we've got to go more into the machine here and see that there's a power transfer happening from the legs into the front wheel. Now let's look at the two cogs. It's easy to see the one on the left because it's big. It's harder to see the one on the right but it's there. There it is, right in the middle there. It's small compared to this one. This one takes up the entire screen. Oh, this is a cool way of showing it. The entire screen is taken up by the big cog. And how much of the screen is taken up by the smaller cog? Looks like about a quarter. And uh, what's the relationship between something that takes up the whole screen and a quarter of the screen? How many quarters are there in a basketball game? Four quarters. 
So how many times do you think that front wheel is gonna go around for every pedal stroke? Bringing this, this uh, valve here, which you're gonna be able to see it move around, I'm gonna do one full pedal stroke. One. Four. And a little bit. Four and a bit. That's great news. So what that means is that the visual estimate that we did with this one being about four times bigger was confirmed experimentally by counting the number of rotations that actually happened. Cool. So now we're going to do the same thing but with the other power transfer. There's two power transfers happening here. There's the power transfer from my muscles down into the pedal, changing this, uh, making this front wheel spin. And then there's the power transfer um, down in here, which I'll show you, uh, from the front wheel to the blender blade. There's a, a pretty good friction grip between the rubber tire and this round roller. Every time the wheel moves, the blender blade spins. So what we need to do is uh, focus on the size of the round roller as it relates to the size of the tire. And it turns out that the size of the tire is actually just, you know, written on the tire. It says 28. Now how about the size of this roller? Compared to the flashlight, it's about the same and the flashlight's about one inch. So let's call it one inch. And one inch is a great number for estimating because the number one is so easy to multiply by other things. You know, it's easier than 1.2 or 0 0.7 or whatever it actually might be. Okay, so how many times is the blade moving around for every one time that the wheel moves around? Are we gonna count it? No, it's too many times to count. That sounds annoying. Let's just use the estimating. Let's just use the math. It's going to move 28 times because the larger circle is 28 times bigger than the smaller circle. But, you know, 28. 28 is like, eh, kind of a hard number to do math with. Let's just call it 30. 28 is so close to 30. It's basically the same as 30. We were able to count the speed of the pedaling. We said it was 120 RPM, pedal strokes per minute. Uh, we're able to estimate the number of spins of the front wheel for every pedal stroke. That's four times for every pedal stroke. So that's 480. And then we said that for every spin of the wheel, there were 30 times that the blender blade moved around. So the answer is going to be 480 times 30. Let's take that 480 number and uh, turn it into 500 for the same reason that we took the 17 number and, and rounded it up to 20, for the same reason that we took the 28 number and rounded it up to 30. It's just easier. You know, I don't have a calculator with me. I don't even have a pencil and paper. Uh, let's just do something that we can do on the spot. So we've got 500 turns of the front wheel in one minute times 30 turns of the blender for every turn of the tire. So we've got 500 times 30. That's like basically five times three plus all the zeros. So we've got two zeros in the 500, one zero on the 30. That's three zeros total. Five times three is 15 plus three zeros is 15,000. So that's the answer. We estimated that the blender speed is 15,000 RPM. Well, naturally, I went back into the house and wanted to search it on the web. And I found a uh, comparison being put together by discountjuicers.com. And it shows that the blade speeds on various blenders are between 20 and 40,000. So it feels like we probably nailed it because, you know, it makes sense that an electric blender might be a little faster than a pedal powered blender. So we were in the right ballpark and uh, that's a good feeling. That's a powerful example of estimating.